Good afternoon, everybody. I'm set up at Humeji Castle, and today's photography is all about capturing these beautiful cherry blossoms. As you can see with the people down there on the tarps, Haname is in full effect and the cherry blossoms are in full bloom as well. So it's gorgeous here today. Now the real key to today's shooting is finding places where we can surround the castle with these cherries on the bottom and on the top. There is however one big obstacle to point out and that is the scaffolding on the side of the castle there. That is not looking good. While I do love me some Photoshop, I'm gonna try to find a simpler way to get rid of that scaffolding. It's really simple actually. All I'm going to do is position myself a little bit lower which will raise up the cherry blossoms and cover all the ugly scaffolding. Something tells me that with all of these cherry blossoms all over the place, that's not going to be very hard to do. Just like I thought, I already found one. Now check out this really beautiful framing. My iPhone's stuck to 28 millimeter, but when I zoom in, you can kind of see that magic start to happen. The goal now is to scout around a little bit, figure out my favorite spots, and come back tonight when the light up event happens. Essentially, all of these cherries and the castle are going to be fully illuminated. Here we are back on location, and the sakura are lit beautifully. It's a little rainy, but otherwise, a gorgeous night. While the rain certainly does make shooting a little bit more difficult, it also has one very positive impact. There are far less people here now. Overall in this location, that means I can position my camera a little bit lower because I don't have to worry about as many people walking across the bottom of my frame. I've been walking around for a little while, shooting in different locations, trying to find compositions that I really like, and I think I've settled on a favorite. What I really like about this frame is the balance of the composition and the light. The light coming from the bottom and into the castle and the cherry blossoms surrounding it are also softly illuminated. In such an awesome location like this though, it's hard to get it wrong. But if you do manage to screw it up, there's a guy selling sake right over there.